All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem El Shai over Chakodash, with Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakodash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. All right. And you just saw that uh, quick clip from TikTok. Okay. And, you know, you had this Edomite, which the Edomites, they are the uh, true biblical nationality. All right. For the so-called white man. All right. That's his true biblical nationality. All right. He, uh, point being is. You had this guy basically, you know, take this particular clip, the first part, all right, and, um, for, you know, from a Native American and pretty much made fun of it. You know, as you can see from the first clip, all right, you know, it says here, always remember you're on stolen land. You live and breathe on indig indigenous land, okay? And then, you know, the next clip, all right, as you saw, you know, they said, uh, you know, America, okay, you know, home field advantage wasn't enough. And basically, you know, he's just making fun, scoffing, and being, you know, boastful and prideful against, you know, these uh, uh, natives, which their true uh, biblical nationality are the Gadites of, of the Bible, are one of the tw 12 holy tribes of Israel, okay? And I'll say this. Uh, you so-called, you know, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you are the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? And I'll say this, you know, just to throw it out there, side note, we also have a lot of our people that actually look like heathens, meaning they actually look like the other nations, okay? And that's due to the fact that our men have mixed and mingled with the heathen women, okay? Where now we have actually some of our people looking like the other nations, Okay, that's a whole nother lesson within itself, but I had to throw that out there. But point being, though, is, you know, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, okay? And, you know, our, um, you know, uh, our nemesis, you know, our, you know, enemy, you know, that, you know, that, that started from the beginning of time, all right, is the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomites, Okay. And point being, though, is these Edomites, they don't care about you, okay? And anytime you, you know, you stick up for yourselves, you, you know, make a statement, such as what this, uh, you know, native did, okay, this Gadite did, you know, they, they try to, you know, put it down. You know, they, they try to, you know, you know, laugh at it. But see, this stuff really, uh, um, I'll say this, this pierces their, their heart, okay? This pierces their soul. They hate the fact that you know, this land was stolen, okay? And they benefit, they, they basically benefit off of, uh, of this, okay? You know? And they want you, okay, as an Israelite, these Edomites want you as Israelites to just forget about, all right, how they stole this land, how they uh, they made you, uh, you know, how they made you as slaves and, and how, how you had to build this place up and how you maintain it to this uh, current day. They want you to forget about that and just to be happy, okay? Because they gave you a job. You know, they, they allowed you to have weekends off, maybe a, a so-called holiday off. And that's that. You're supposed to just shut up, you know, be quiet, go to work, and go watch a damn basketball game or football game, you know? All right, but point being, though, is I'll say this. See, these Edomites don't realize that we weren't taken down by them. We were taken down by the Lord. Okay, and see, these Edomites don't understand biblical prophecy. These things had to come to pass. All right, because I'm going to get the scripture. It talks about how the Native Americans, the Gadites, they were going to get taken down in the latter days by a troop, an army. But it says what? That they're going to rise up. They're going to overcome. All right. See, they look, these uh, Gadites, these natives are going to get the last laugh. Okay, so you Edomites... You're about to fall terribly. 
You know, right now you're on top. Yeah, you're the top dog. You know, you're, you're, you're in the number one position. Okay? You're the boss. You see? But eventually the Heavenly Father is going to strip that power seat from you. That, that, that rulership seat. And then, and then you're going to be at the bottom. And then bad times are coming for you. Okay? But let's get this. This is Genesis 49 and 1. Let's read it. And Jacob, which his um, name was changed to Israel... Okay, so Jacob and Israel are synonymous. And Jacob called unto his sons, the twelve tribes of Israel, okay, and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So basically, Jacob was on his deathbed, okay? And he was uh, uh, prophesying unto his sons what's going to happen to them in the last days. Meaning this time period right now that we're living in. Okay, and this is what what happened to the, the Gadites. It says here, Gad, all right, the Native Americans, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. You see, the Gadites they 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 they, they, they lost, okay? You know, they, they they lost those, you know, battles between you know them and the United States, okay? To say the the, the so called white man, the Edomites. Hey, but eventually, hey, these, you know, these Gadites, okay, they're going to rise up and they're, they're, they're going to get the victory. Okay? The Lord is going to give these Gadites spiritual powers at some point. And then also the uh, other 11 tribes. Okay? But since, you know, we're talking about Gad, we're going to focus on that. Gad's going to overcome, man. See, right, like I said, right now, hey, these Edomites, hey, they, 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 they're, they're laughing, they're pointing fingers. You know, hey, we're the butt of the jokes, but eventually, look, hey, us Israelites, we're going to get the last laugh, and we're going to put you down, man, okay? But right now, it's, yeah, it's your turn to be on top, but eventually, we're going to get on top, man. And yeah, and look, you Edomites are going to have a terrible time, and that's because, hey, you, you, you threw us in, in hardcore slavery, and you took things too far. You did, um, as they say, inhumane acts. You went above and beyond, and now you're going to get punished for that. All right, but let me read this. I'm gonna have to read a couple of um, verses. All right, in this um, in this book here, but main points in ten. But this, is, you know, I gotta start from the top here. This is Ezekiel 35 and one. It says, "Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it." And Mount Seir was the homeland of the Edomites. So when you see Mount Seir, that represents you Edomites. So we as, you know, the men of the Lord, we're supposed to prophesy against you. Okay? And this is what we're supposed to do. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. And that's what we tell you Edomites. The Heavenly Father is against you. Right now you're in the rulership seat, you're in the power seat, but eventually you're going to fall. And when you fall... You are going into hardcore slavery. We are going to put you into into slavery, a uh, slavery. Okay, you're gonna have chains on you like you had on us. Okay, we are going to beat you like we, you beat us. You are going to build up our kingdom like we build up yours. Okay, this is what's coming. And it says, "I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate." I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. You see, eventually your kingdom, your cities, all these things that you have built, they're going to fall. And then you're going to know this is the power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's his true name. You're going to know that it was those powers. All right? Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now it says here, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred meaning a forever hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare unto thee, prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. See, if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You see, since you've had a hatred against us, and then you took things, you know, above and beyond, and, you know, you, since you love the blood, you know, shedding our blood, we're going to shed yours, okay, in the time to come. 
Let me keep reading. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. In thy hills and in thy valleys and in thy rivers shall thou fall, shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. See, at the end of the day, when your kingdom goes down, you're gonna know this was of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, man. Because right now we, I, I, we all understand that you Edomites don't believe in the Most High. You believe in science, yourself, okay, and the things that you can, you know, touch, see, smell, hear, and taste. All right, we understand that you have no spirituality. We we, we get it, but you will know at the end of the day. There was a higher power that controlled everything, all right? And that you were just a man, and you were a pawn to the Heavenly Father, and He used you for, you know, for, a, uh, uh, for a, He used you for, for His purpose, and you were used for a time period, and eventually you will be disposed of, okay? But let me uh, uh, get this. Verse 10, because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will even do according to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Okay, so basically what that means is those two countries and those two nations, that represents the kingdom of Israel, okay? Okay. And how it was split. Because the, the, our kingdom was split into, into two. If you know the history of the Israelites. We had, you know, basically war with, you know, within our nation. And you had the uh, northern and the southern kingdom. It's, it, at one point, it split. Okay? It split. During the time of Rehoboam and Jeroboam. And the southern kingdom consists of Judah, Benjamin, Levi. What this world will call so-called black people. And the northern kingdom, which consists of Ephraim and the, you know, the rest of the tribes, all right, which Gad is one of them, all right, that consists of the so-called Hispanics and uh, Native Americans. Hey, you, you, you possessed us. As if you were the most high. Okay? You know? And you did what you wanted with us. And now you're going to get punished for that. You are going to get judged for these things. Okay, for doing the things that you've done, and may, may making the, you know the you know the, the acts that you've done, you know a, a mockery, our pain a mockery, like it's nothing. But hey, you, you you're gonna get judged for this, for these actions. Like I said, you'll go back to that TikTok video, making fun of the Gadites for telling you that you're on stolen land. Oh, well, home field advantage wasn't enough. And then they had that little caption. If you read it at the bottom, his little statement saying, uh, um, you're not getting your shit back. See, these Edomites believe that they're going to continue to possess, you know, these lands forever and ever and ever. But see, we're here to tell you that it's not, it's not, it's not like that. Eventually, it's going to end. This party's going to end. All right, for you Edomites. You see? You know? Man, you know, I'm just going to finish off this whole... This whole chapter, and we'll end it off. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 12 now. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, and that I have heard all the blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel. And that, which, that statement that that, that, uh, that that Edomite made, that was blasphemy. Okay? Saying, they are laid desolate, and they are given uh, us to consume. See, these Edomites really believe that we're, we're supposed to just, you know, basically uh, 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 just bend the knee. And take the punishment. And that nothing's ever going to happen. That they can use and abuse us forever. It's not going to happen though. It's not. Thus with your mouth ye have, mul they, ye have boasted against me. And they have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. You see the Lord hears all this. He hears everything that's going on. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. When the whole earth rejoiceth. I will make thee desolate. And you see the whole world is going to be. You know. Happy. They're going to be, the whole earth is going to be rejoicing once you Edomites are destroyed. All right? Once you serve your slavery 
and you just get destroyed from the face of the earth. Because I'll say this, your punishment, okay, one of your punishments, I'll say this, for, you know, for, you know, for your evil works, one of your punishments is complete eradication. That's the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Go read the book of Obadiah if you don't believe me. All right? You Edomites are going to be destroyed, man. Okay? Now let me keep reading. Verse 15. And thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate. Hey, that guy was, hey, he, he, he was uh, rejoicing. Okay? That he, you know, got a nice plot of land in the land of America. Okay? And it says, Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir. Oh, no. So, hold on, let me finish. It says, Because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. See, the Lord's going to get you back. Payback. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia. Which, that's just the Greek uh, way of saying Edom. Okay? Even all of it. And they shall know that I am the Lord. And as I stated earlier in this lesson, several times, you're going to know who Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is, and you're going to know that there was a higher power controlling all this, and you will pay, okay? All right? But um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. I'm going to play that clip one more time for you all. You want that?